Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy podcast, episode number 133. Welcome. It's also the first episode of the new year 2020. <laughs> okay, so for my finished objects, uh, now I was working in my craft room f a few days ago trying to uh, recover it <laughs> from the uh, Santa's workshop explosion that happened with all the fixing of the... Uh, preparing of the Christmas presents and all that. <laughs> and so uh, I come upon so many works in progress that I had already and I was wanting to try to finish up at least a few projects before you know before the new year started. So I did finish two items uh, last year or they were both they were both crochet alongs that happened throughout the year of 2019 and so I wanted to finish both of them up. The first one is the uh, Jada and Stitches calendar blanket for 2019. Okay, so this is the folk art blanket, I think it was called, and I followed it throughout the year except right at the end I kind of went rogue and I kind of, by that I was kind of done with it and so I wanted to, I called it that I, well I called it finished. <laughs> So, I'll show you what I did. Okay. So, here is the blanket. Now, I followed it uh, like Jada was doing hers. Um, I didn't put any clouds. I might go back and put a cloud or two. I'm not sure. Those were bonus uh, patterns that she had. Anyway, so, oop. <laughs> so, here you go. You got the pumpkin patch, which is what she had, and the barn. But, as you see... <laughs> the flower section right there by the tractor. I decided just to put the flowers kind of here and there in that section instead of putting the flowers on the stems. I believe in the the pattern the way she had it, she had a, like a patch of sunflowers. Uh, whoop, let me get my arm over here. <laughs> it was over here. Uh, but the only thing about it is the stems that I used for my flowers were the same color as this uh, pine, oop, where's it at? <laughs> right there, the pine green. <laughs> and so it just, it just, I don't know, I didn't like the way it was looking and so I just decided to take the flowers since I had the flowers made already and so I just placed them just here and here and yonder <laughs> in that green section. So I did that different and then, um, then I have my like I said, there's the tractor, and then I've got my row of houses right there, and then, um, oh, and I believe she had some horses, a couple of horses that she had, and I just, I didn't make them. I might go back and add them sometime, I don't know. I just, I wanted to really just finish it up, so I just, I didn't make them. <laughs> and then down here in the water part, she also had, um, couple of whales I think a pattern to make whales and I just I didn't do that either I thought about making some other type of boat uh, like a rowboat or a canoe or something where I could put like it was beached up on the shore like part in the water and part on the ground uh, I might do that I don't know I decided to finish it maybe I'm, maybe I'm just taking a break from it I don't know if I'll add to it or not but anyway if not, then it's done. <laughs> and I didn't put a border on it. Um, I just decided that my, my sides looked pretty good. You know, they're pretty even. And I just decided not to put a border on it at all. <laughs> I felt like it was, it's pretty finished up. I mean, you know, I mean, it looks finished pretty well on the side. So I just decided to say it's done. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that is finished and off my hook <laughs> and let me put that down okay so also I was taking part in um, uh, another crochet along that was supposed to last throughout the year it was called the stash busting square crochet along I think something like that and it's by Heather of the unraveled mitten and it was a square that you're supposed to do um, every two weeks and so you're gonna have a total of 24 four squares and I got all the way to like I think I got 18 squares done and then I kind of 
uh, fell off the wagon with it. <laughs> and so uh, I just had these stacks of squares and I wanted to do something with them. And so I decided to put them, just go ahead and start stitching them together. And what I actually ended up doing is I stitched uh, four squares by four squares to make it a square. So I used 16 of them. And um, so let me show you. Okay, this is it. So this is what I did. <laughs> So here's my blanket. I don't know if you can see all of it. There's the bottom. Okay, so the only thing the only thing I did now I did use um three weight yarn like it was some leftover mandalas that's what that came from and uh, just some baby yarn that I had that was like really uh fine. And so uh, my squares did not turn out to be 12 inch squares. They were like nine and a half inch kind of square ish. <laughs> and so what I did is I took some, uh, I continued on with a three weight yarn and I had this purple right here, this purple, uh, I think it's Bernat Softy Baby. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember. It's purple. <laughs> I don't remember the colorway. But I used that and I went around with a half double crochet edge. Or border, you know, around uh, each square individually with three half double crochets in each corner. Oh, but when I was making the squares, okay, so when I was making the squares, I put a single crochet border around each one in white just when I finished each square, okay. So I just added to that and I went around with a half double crochet border, three in each corner uh, of the purple to kind of tie the colors together okay see the squares and so uh, I did that and then it just seemed like it needed to be oh and then oh and then I uh, mattress stitched the squares together using the purple so that way you can't see the stitches and then after that <laughs> I went around the whole entire thing with uh, another row of white in just uh, single crochets with three in, in the corners. So that's all I did and it turned out to be a good size. And I think it, it's a good size for either a toddler blanket or uh, a lap robe or something like for somebody in a wheelchair or something. And so um, I finished it. I'm calling it done. I think I'm happy with it. I think it turned out really nice. I think. I like the colors. Uh, now I will pop in a picture here of both of those, the Jada and Stitches blanket all laid out flat so you can see it much better. And also this one, I'll take a picture of this and I will insert that also so you can see them better than what I can hold them up. So uh, I'll put the, that in here. Okay, so that is finished object number one and finished object number two. Finished object number three is a, it was a Christmas gift and now I can show it to you. So I was doing, I was making the Grinch pillow. It is a pattern or I think they don't call it a pillow. I think they, she calls it a rag doll but I call it a pillow. <laughs> but anyway, it, it was so cute I had to make it. Um, I, I, it was uh, a pattern by Spin a Yarn. Dot com, I think, or spinnyyarncrochet.com, I forget. <laughs> but I will link pat the patterns in the description box below. Okay, so I did this Grinch pillow. He's really cute. He's got the Santa outfit on. Uh, his hat is removable. And, of course, I already gifted that since it's after Christmas. And since she's already got it and seen it, it's for my daughter-in-law. Uh, I will put in a picture here. Uh, well, actually, two pictures. One with his Santa hat on and then one with it off. Um of the finished object. I th I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out really cute. So here's the picture. Okay, and then finished object number four is an ornament. I, now, I did show it um, in one of my vlogmases, one of the last ones that I made. I don't remember what number. Uh, but it is the Baby Yoda ornament. Um, it is also from Spin a Yarn Crochet or 
whatever it is. <laughs> anyway, and I will link it below, of course. But I uh, also, that was a gift. I gave that one to my son. And so uh, I will put in a picture here of, the, of it because I took a picture of it before I gave it to them. So that's my finished objects. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so on to works in progress. I only have two since I was mainly working on these finished objects to get them finished. <laughs> so the first works in progress is the paper blanket. Somebody had asked me if I was still working on it. Yes, I am. This is a pattern I got from a craftyconcept.com free pattern. It is supposed to be uh, resemble a piece of notebook paper. <laughs> and this is for my uh, daughter-in-law who is a teacher just to have in her classroom. Um, and this is what I've done so far. I'm, it's pretty wide as you can see <laughs> and so now of course I have to make it taller than it is wide <laughs> and so uh, that's how far I've gotten so far right there on it yeah and so uh, I'm still working on it I think since I showed it to you last I've done another I think I've got it upside down yes <laughs> Doesn't matter, I guess. It looks the same. <laughs> but anyway, I did another section of the white and another stripe of the blue. So now I'm ready to start another section of white. And so, uh, and I have just a few ends because each time I do a couple of sections, I go ahead and go back and weave in the ends where I changed colors. I've got maybe three. <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> allergies okay <laughs> I got three on this side that I need to weave in in uh, about three tails on that side so uh, but I am trying to keep up with those tails so that way I will not have to weave them all in at the end <laughs> so that is works in progress number one still working on that um, and the only other works in progress I have I actually started it this afternoon and I'm almost finished with it it's all, it was almost a finished object um, Okay, so Crystal of Chronically Crochet here on YouTube is having a Bust Your Stash Challenge, something like that. I can't remember exactly what it's called. I will link that video below uh, so then you can um, watch it. It's like an introductory video where she explains how, what she's going to be doing. Um, so through the year, she's, yeah, through the year, each month, she's going to have a challenge where she, she would say to create a certain object and then whoever participates during that month um, and post pictures of it, of that object um, using their stash, um, there'll be a drawing for a little prize each month. But it's mainly just for fun and to challenge each other to use up stash that we have. So anyway, this month, she, the first project that she has uh, challenged us to make is a cowl, C-O-W-L. <laughs> and so I looked up cowls and found this pattern I thought was, um, would be nice to do. And so I, I, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and I started it today. It's gone really quick. This is a whole skein. Now this, this pattern is called the sandy cowl I think and it is by little Mon little monkeys crochet and I will link that in the description box below so the yarn that I'm using is Karen simply soft and it's called simply soft paints and the, the colorway is peacock feather and so uh, I was gifted this yarn in fact three skeins of it by a, one of my viewers thank you <laughs> and um, so I was wanting to use it and so this is the where I've decided to make this cowl with and I'm really liking if you can see the color how the colors coming out I'm really liking the colors I like the blues and the greens I think that's very pretty and I'm almost finished with the cowl uh, I just have um, about oh four or five rows at the top to match this this bottom piece that's all single crochets right there and so then it'll be finished so almost I almost did it in one day now this is one full skein of the of this prints and so I'm gonna have to get into this one just a little bit to finish off the top border so if you had yarn that was um, maybe a six ounce skein something like that you would probably have enough where it would actually be a one skein project um, 
but anyway I'm liking it I think it's gonna be really pretty I have a black coat that I think it'll be nice with and so uh, thank you crystal for uh, hosting this uh, challenge okay so I think that is all yes that is all my works in progress um, that I've been working on <laughs> for this week um, but I did have a couple of acquisitions that I want to show you okay so first thing I, I, I if you watch my 2020 crafty goals video which I put out yesterday uh, I had said that I had made a couple of purchases through Amazon well using some Amazon gift cards that I had earned uh, through the shop kicks app okay and um, so I picked out a few things and my husband picked out a few things to use that gift card and the first thing I purchased well one of the things I purchased was this uh, book it's by Leisure Arts it's just called Wraps by the Dozen and there are 12 yeah 12 uh, shawls or wraps uh, I really like liking some of these I think they're gonna be really nice um, one of my crafty goals was to uh, do some more work more on some charity items and and I plan on making some shawls and lap gan lap gans for a nursing home that is in this area and so I thought that these wraps would be um, really nice uh, to to make and also be a way that I can use up some more of my um, stash so um, like I said, I'm looking through here. There's just some really pretty ones. Oh, yeah, this one right here. Isn't that pretty? But like I said, there's some really pretty ones in here. And uh, really all of them are pretty. So uh, if you're looking for a book that has um, some shawls or wrap pattern, what I was looking for is I wanted some that, oh, here it is. That I wanted some that were was not a just a triangular shawl because I was thinking that if it was for somebody that's in a wheelchair that maybe something that was more like a wrap like a rectangular wrap that could be just put over you know worn around your shoulders that that might be better than having something that's pointing pointed down the back you know they might sit on them or you know get <laughs> I don't know <laughs> it'd be uncomfortable <laughs> and so um, like this one see this one's a pretty one too so anyway um, I, I found this book on Amazon and I thought it would be a good addition to have so I got that okay <laughs> and the other thing I did is I picked up this kit this is a Rudolph the red Nose reindeer crochet uh, set and it has yarn in there and even hook yeah, even has the hook in there. Uh, but it's got yarn enough to make the Santa and the Rudolph. And what I was planning on doing since I did find out that they make pretty small characters. And so um, I'm going to use worsted weight yarn, I think, and make them a little bigger. But what, what I, the main reason I bought it, or I thought it was a good deal, was the fact that it's got this pattern book in here. And it makes 12 characters from the cartoon. And so it has on the edge of the box, it's got those six patterns for those six characters. And it also has the patterns for those six characters. Oh, there you go. <laughs> And so since there's 12 characters, I'm going to, uh, this is one of my goals or challenging myself that I'm going to make one character per month um, out of this kit. And then by Christmas, I'll have a nice set of characters that I can use for Christmas decor or whatever. And uh, since I posted that video yesterday where I talked about that I wanted to do this, I had several responses, comments of people that said, oh, I have this kit and I haven't ever used it. And so they were saying that, that they wanted to do it along with me. And then I had somebody else that had commented and they said, oh, I'm going to go look into that. Maybe I'll get the kit. And then th she was going to crochet the characters along with me. So um, I think that's going to be fun. So if anybody ha happens to have this kit or wants to get it I will link uh, in the description box below where I got it off of Amazon um, so but feel free if you want to join me in making these characters I think it's gonna be uh, a fun thing to do through the year okay so that's my acquisitions and the last thing I want to say is I did get a couple three more Christmas cards uh, went by my post office box and pick them up and so I was wanting to share them with you uh, the first one is from Natalie of Natalie's closet she sent me this one 
cute little Santa's train uh, card. I think it's very cute. I really like it. And I appreciate the little note, Natalie, that you put in here um, for me. So thank you so much for thinking of me. And then also I received a Christmas card from Pam, who is the Naughty Crocheter here on YouTube. So I will link Natalie's channel and Pam's channel below and she sent me this card that says joy to the world very pretty card and I appreciate the sweet note that you put in here Pam thank you so much and then the last one I got that I want to show you is from Diana and she is from Ohio and she sent me this little card here that's got this pretty wreath on it it's very pretty it says hope I really like that and um, so I really appreciate that, Diane. And inside, uh, uh, Diana, sorry. <laughs> and inside the card, she made me this little ornament, and I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. So she made me this little, uh, it's like a little Christmas, it reminds me of a Christmas candy, peppermint candy type um, ornament. Yeah. And so what I'm going to do is, if you watch my Vlogmas videos, you know that Seta of Seta's Place had given me and made for me an advent calendar that I had hanging up back there. Well, uh, and there's a pocket in each one. And so sh she did not have all the pockets filled with ornaments because some of the days that I unwrapped my advent swap presents from her, some were for ornaments to put on that advent tree, and then other th and then there was other presents that were for me for other things uh, besides the ornaments. And so I, I decided to, uh, when I was taking the ornaments off the tree, to put them into the pockets, and then whatever empty pockets I had, I would fill them up with little ornaments that I had and go ahead and put them in those pockets and so now next year I'll put it up in there the pockets will already be filled but I won't remember you know what's in what pocket and so each day I'll be able to take one out and hang it on that little advent tree and so I had a few empty pockets a few empty pockets left I think I've got about maybe six that I need to put ornaments in and so uh, I'm going to put this in there as one of the ornaments that's going to be taken out to put on the advent tree for next Christmas. So thank you so much, Diana. I really appreciate that. Okay, so I think that's it for today. I know this is coming out kind of late. I was running around a lot and had things to do for today, and so I'm just now getting the um, video filmed and I know it's after dark and so I don't know what the lighting is like but I'm hoping it's okay <laughs> so um, I think that's it <laughs> so thanks so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do I really appreciate all my subscribers thank you for my original subscribers and the ones that are new welcome uh, and if you haven't subscribed then please do and follow what I'm doing on my with all the my yarny goodness that I like to play with <laughs> and uh, follow my projects uh, that I as I make them and I do make tutorials from here and from time to time as well and so um, yeah so thanks a lot guys I really appreciate all your sweet comments that you leave for my videos it means a whole lot thanks Okay, so I'm going to go. So everybody have, have a wonderful weekend. Those that are in Australia, please stay safe. I'm praying that you have a big rain to wash out all those fires. Oh, I really am thinking of you all, and I hope that you're staying safe and, and you know, praying that this will end soon. <laughs> So everybody, have a great weekend, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.